What is up guys, Winter Kills here, coming at you with a rather interesting Luna Light deck profile from my friend TJ here. Uh, he ended up getting second place with us at our Mega Tournament, we actually played in the finals. Uh, and we'll talk more about that later, but he's going to go ahead and show you guys his list. Alrighty, so uh, when I built this list, I saw the new ban list, I saw the rank up magic came off the list, and this was the first thing that I resorted to, it just tells my opponent they're not allowed to play this game. So let's just get into it and we'll explain that a bit more later. So, Lunalite Engine, three Tigers, three Kaleido Chick, two Martin, one Emerald Bird. This is pretty standard from any time you play this deck as an engine. I mean, this is debatable, but this card is just really good. Uh, for the dangers, we're playing two Jackalope, two Suchinoko, two Mothman, one Chupacabra, and one Nessie. Uh, so it's really important that we're playing level 3s and level 4s because we're playing a uh, rank 4 engine and we're also playing a uh, Terabini in the extra deck so the level 3s do matter. Uh, we're playing Zephyros uh, because just Lunalite things. One Tracker, one Wielder, again because level 3s for Cherubini. One Boots and one Cloak for Phantom Knights because both of them search the rank up magic. And that's it for the monsters. Three Tanky, three Burial Goods, and three Perfume just because we want as much consistency as possible. Plus, like, the fact that we're able to discard and stuff off Perfume triggers our dangers, obviously. And it makes it so when we draw our Phantom Knights, they're not exactly bricks. Yeah. Then we play two rank up. We'll get to why we play two in a little bit. Two double or nothing. Again, we'll get to why we play two in a little bit, but basically it's part of the combo, and if I draw it or I mill it, I just kind of don't do my combo. Then more consistency cards. We play two allure and one foolish burial. And then for traps, we play one shade brigadine and one serenade dance. Uh, so I came up to play the Brigadine last minute just because a lot of times, like, sometimes you just need an extra body on board or sometimes, like, you've already gone through, like, two rank ups either by drawing them, whatever, and you just want something else to search. Yeah. So having another target was really nice. Nice. Extra deck. Uh, one Tornado Dragon, one Dweller, just utility extra deck cards. Four Strix to search the Zephyros, obviously. Utopia, because we're playing double, so this makes it an OTK engine going second. But the main reason we're playing double is to play number 93, Utopia Kaiser. So for a lot of you guys that don't know what this card does, basically, uh, Utopia Double says that you can summon any Utopia out of extra deck, so you don't just have to summon regular Utopia. And this guy says, I can summon number monsters from my extra deck up to the number of materials it has attached to it at the time I activate it. They have to have different ranks from each other and have to be 3,000 or less attack. But it summons them, then detaches a the material, their effects are negated permanently, mm -hmm. and then I can't special the rest of the turn and my opponent takes half battle damage. But none of that matters with what we're going to summon off of it, which are Big Eye and Dreglubian, because these are both targets that we're going to use for the rank up magics to summon Kali Yuga and True King of All Calamity. Basically, I just tell my opponent they're not allowed to play this game on their turn. Yeah, and those cards do a good job at doing just that. Then Barricade Board Blocker because it's another dark and it gets the pitch cards out of your hand. Cherubini and Curious because these both send the Phantom Knight monsters which get us into our rank up spells. Then Boral Sword to OTK going second or for the turn two kill. And then the Apollosa just to play around the beer or stuff like that. Uh, side deck. Three Droll, this is like the best hand trap this format, it just says no to everything. Uh, three Gamma Seal, just in case I have to deal with problem cards that I can't just easily get around. Uh, one Bigfoot and one Pankertops, this is just for going second. And the fact this is searchable is just helpful. Uh, three Dark Ruler, just because it says it stops Spiral because they put out just a lot of effective monster cards that just do a lot, and being able to shut off their whole board for the turn is just really important. Uh, it's one of the hardest matchups, honestly. Three evenly to play around back row decks, and then the one red reboot, just because Konami said I can only play one. Yeah, that's true. So, the, like I was saying, like the main play of the deck is to summon Utopia Kaiser to get those two monsters out, and then summon the Kaliuga 
and the calamities on my opponent's turn. Uh, mm -hmm. I can usually back that up with something like a Dweller. The deck plays around Nibiru and stuff very well. And Appaloosa. And, yeah, and Appaloosa. So, like, the deck just has a lot of ways to play around hand traps, to play uh, just to keep going with the combo. It's not hindered by a lot of hand traps because of that, just because there are so many things that keep recurring themselves, keep activating. Yeah. So even if I can't establish the full end combo, usually I can end up with some variation where either I put out, like, a Kaliuga on my opponent's Swing. turn, or even if I get, like, drolled myself in games two and three, Dweller more often than not is enough to just stop my opponent from playing and let me OTK the next turn, so... Nice, nice. All right, um, do you want to show what the, the end board usually looks like? Yeah. The end board that you had for game two that you guys yeah. unfortunately didn't get to see? Yeah, so the end board for game two was Appaloosa, which was pointing at a Kaiser, the Big Eye, and Dreglubian. So this is what happened in our game that unfortunately you guys wouldn't be able to see. Uh, I had the two rank up set. You also had Dweller too. Yeah, I, had, I think I had the Dweller as well. Yeah. This had two negates on it. Yeah, it had two negates. So he opened a Kaiju, he Kaijued over the Appaloosa, but that still let me summon the uh, Kali Yuga on his turn, which basically just ends the turn with the Dweller anyway. And then game three, I just opened Droll and Lockbird and uh, Dark Ruler No More. But that didn't really matter because he hard drew the Fossil Dyna and he just hit all the Kaijus out of my hand. Yeah. So the Dark Roller negating the Fossil Dyna didn't even do enough. Yeah. All right. Well, still a very, very interesting deck nonetheless. Uh, thank you so much for the profile. Congratulations on how well you did today also. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to sign out. We'll see you guys in the next one.